Here are four easy tricks that are gonna impress your friends on the mountain that are actually pretty simple to learn. Before we dive into these tricks and how to do these tricks, we have a full app explaining each one of these tricks step by step. So go download Pocket Coach. There's also a lot of other cool features that come with the app. You can track your max speeds, etc., etc. So go check it out, go download it, go play with your friends. So one of the first easiest tricks to impress your friend is a tame dog. Now what a tame dog is, is a different type of front flip. Instead of just a normal front flip, you're kind of doing more of a side flip on your snowboard, but it ends up looking exactly like a front flip. Now, the reason why this is a super easy trick is because once you learn how to do a nollie, which is basically an ollie but popping off your nose, all you do is flick the nollie a little bit harder, put a lot more pressure on your front foot as you're doing the nollie, and if you really snap off the nose of your board, it pretty much sends you into that tame dog rotation super easily. One thing that, that's really cool about tame dogs as well is you don't need to be in a park. You don't need to be hitting some park feature or some big jumps to do a front flip. I even think the best place to do a front flip is on a flat cat track into powder. I've seen people do these just going down a hill and they can get so much pop off their board that they can do a front flip super easily. A few tips with this trick, pop off your nose a little harder than you would be doing a nollie and try to look at your back shoulder as you do the rotation and that's just gonna send you into that tame dog flip and while, because you're looking at your back shoulder, you'll be able to spot your landing super easily. So this trick is super fun and super easy and it definitely is gonna impress your friends. The next trick is a type of butter. Now this type of butter, we have a full intricate video on how to do this butter. It's a front side 180 into a switch tail press into a switch backside 180. Now this sounds really complicated, but this trick is super easy to learn because it's just learning a front side 180, learning a switch tail press, and learning a switch backside 180. And these tricks are actually super simple. Again, we have a full video going into how to step by step do this, but it's super easy because Again, it doesn't take a park. It doesn't take you having to go hit a rail to do this trick. All it is, is pretty much doing a 360 on the ground and just trying to style it out a little bit more. Third trick is called a Euro carve. Now, there's a bunch of different types of Euro carves. There's a type of Euro carve where you try to put your chest as close to snow as you can, really pushing on your toe edge or your heel edge to try to almost get your body parallel to the snow. Now, I always think a cool Euro carve is when you're on your toe side edge and you push so hard on your toe side edge that you actually end up going up the hill a little bit and then you come back doing a leaf-like motion where you come back switch. Now this trick is actually super, super easy because all it is is putting a lot of pressure on your toe edge and kind of looking up the hill. Then you turn your head and let your momentum take you the opposite way and then you flip around. The key to this trick is really just keeping your knees bent and looking the other direction as you start to ride switch. One thing that'll make this trick a little bit easier too is you can be touching the ground as you do it so you don't lose control. A lot of times that I perform this trick, you're so close to the snow that you can just kind of put your hands on it and you can start really slow at first, maybe even just try it without having to go super fast and just get the feeling of doing this trick. Now, the fourth thing that's gonna impress your friends on the mountain is big side hits. Now, a side hit is basically a little bump, a little jump, uh, some sort of berm that's not on the main run or not in a terrain park. Now, why I say big side hits is because as you start riding and you start progressing, you're gonna slowly start noticing more and more terrain that you can hit, that you can jump. And one thing that I like to preach is the faster you go on these things and the more comfortable you work your way up to hitting these side hits, you can end up going pretty big on some little side hits. The best way to find a good side hit is first find a good landing. If you can find a good landing spot, then you know you can go really big to get to that landing spot. Don't just look, don't just look for some flat bump. Don't just look for some random bump that just puts you into flat ground. Really look for that landing, then backtrack, look for maybe a takeoff that's gonna get you to that landing, and then make sure you have a proper run up. Once you start getting comfortable with these, you can start increasing your speed quite a bit and go a lot bigger on side hits than you would ever think. So I hope this video gives you guys a little bit more snowboard knowledge. And again, go subscribe to Pot Coach and go shred.